Salutations everyone, welcome to another emblem tutorial here on my channel where today I'm going to be giving you your favorite neighbor, Totoro. Um, don't really need a background for this one because it's, uh, it's, it's an easy level emblem. So uh, I'll be sure to give you guys different levels of difficulty when it comes to emblems, easy, intermediate, or, uh, you know, extremely hard. Uh, I, as a good gauge, I would say the N64 emblem was intermediate. The Sonic is definitely hard, and uh, this one's pretty easy because it's just mainly circles that you manipulate. And here I am uh, getting the belly just right, toggling the the color picker here. And just a quick tip: if you ever are doing this and getting your own color that would be hard to replicate, but you need that color in a different layer, you just copy that layer and then paste it and then hit Y to change the emblem and then it could be whatever emblem you want but it will stay, still retain that original unique color that you created so here I am just whizzing by what you do is you take a couple of these guys here for the little feetsies of Mr. Totoro you know this is not the most accurate uh, picture of Totoro that you know that one can do, but with the limitations of this emblem editor, I tried a couple different variations of Mr. Totoro, and this seemed to be the uh, the best, easiest one to do uh, with the amount of layers that we are limited to, because, you know, even though we have much more than we had in the first Black Ops, which I am thankful for, we still only have 36, so... Uh, there's a lot of other emblems that I've tried to do that just don't work out because there are not enough layers. So, uh, you know, it, but, you know, it, it makes you more creative with the way that you use your layers and, uh, you know, sacrifices that you have to make in order to have some things look more authentic than others. And here I am just uh, taking a bunch of these little layers right here to make his little uh, little spots on his chest. Uh, deforming this layer, of course, a little bit, and then shrinking it, make it smaller. Gotta make sure I got three on the top and four on the bottom, and then I'm just gonna flip one around, and then just copy and paste the rest to finish them up. So, of course, that's gonna take up a lot of layers. Well, you could sacrifice a few. It wasn't really necessary for this Totoro design, um, since I don't have any, like, claws on the feet or hands. I stuck with, uh, you know, some really rudimentary shapes, but uh, you're still able to pick out the classic Totoro uh, shape here. I'm going to get the, the eyes and ears and the, the nose in here real quick as I make just a few adjustments. Go ahead and pop in the eyes right here real quick. He's got pretty small eyes compared to the size of the rest of his body and pretty small pupils. Dead center of the eye right there. And right here, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to make uh, the 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 nose. I'm trying to form one of these again. Couldn't get it just quite right. So, you know, you can always enlarge it to see what you're working with. And then uh, once you get the correct shape that you want, you go ahead and uh, minimize that further. Got the nose right there. Trying to figure out what's best for the ear. This works perfectly. Just got to deform it a little bit. Make a little a uh, little skinnier. Put another one on the other side. I want to make sure this Totoro is symmetrical. And uh, now we have uh, the whiskers that we got to put on Mr. Totoro. Uh, not sure if I should be doing a, a bus cat emblem. But, uh, you know, if I feel like it, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Going to do all kinds of uh, weird, odd emblems for you guys. And there it is, Mr. Totoro. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to go ahead and show you what my end product looks right there here and uh there you go so that is my third emblem i'll always open for suggestions for uh, ones in the future and i will see you guys next time